Hello, this is Unknown Animations, and today I'm going to be doing a Breath of the Wild review. So, let's get straight into it. So, personally, to me, Breath of the Wild is an amazing game. I mean, who couldn't think that? But there are a few annoying things for me. Um, first annoying thing, Koroks. People like Koroks, but I just, personally, I think they're annoying. Because... The puzzles are annoying to me. To be honest, puzzles are annoying to me anyway, but the Koroks, I personally, I had an actual... They're not essential to the game, and they, and they don't even give you much of an advantage. All they give you is, uh, is uh, more slots, and I beat the, and I bet the game without even fighting any Koroks. They're really hard to find as well, if they were easier to find. Then I would probably like them more, but uh, no, I don't really like horns. Actually, um, before I get on to the rest of the video, could you please subscribe if you like the rest of the this video? Uh, doesn't take much time, and most of my most of the viewers who watch the, my videos are not subscribed. Get subscribed, so I would really appreciate if you would. Back to the video. <coughs> yeah, Koroks cor cor are kind of annoying to me. Um, I've heard a few people have a few, like, complaint, complaints about the Master Sword and how quickly it runs out, and that you need a DLC to make it better, and you have to pay to make it better or to obviously get the DLC. Um, yeah, I think that was a bit of a crappy move from Nintendo to, like, the only way you can upgrade the Master Sword is to get DLC. Uh, luckily it's not too expensive. It is it is an exp it is a relatively expensive DLC but it isn't expen as expensive as I thought it would be. I thought it would be like 60, 70 quid. Uh but no. I can't remember the exact amount, but when I bought it it was like thirty quid. Which is still quite a lot of money. Um and uh, pe people have also complained about the weapons breaking, but I think that just adds a kind of more strategy to the game. It it kind of means you have to, like it's resource management. You need to figure out which weapons to use, the ones that won't that won't break as fast, and also are like like strong. So <coughs> and so the strong ones break quite fast. So, uh, no, that has kind of strategy, strategy to it, and, uh, pers and, uh, personally, I really love the, the Lynels. Uh, the Lynels are quite, they're quite hard, actually. I think they were, personally, to me, they were way harder than Ganon. Ganon was an easy boss fight, but I still, but after Ganon, I had some of the best armor. And some of the best weapons and the master sword. <laughs> some of the best weapons and the master sword. Uh, no, and some and some of the best weapons. Master sword, obviously. I could still barely beat a Lionel, no matter how I did it. They're very hard to beat. One of the, I would say, like quite hard to beat. Uh, because actually, I think. Now moving on to Ganon. I think that Ganon was quite an easy boss fight, personally. He was it was quite underwhelming. I was expecting it to be this massive challenge, but no. It's actually not that hard. And then Dark Beast Ganon is just the credits, <laughs> basically. There's no proper challenge in Dark Beast Ganon. Uh it's just kind of weird that they did that. Um, also, do keep in mind that this this review is not scripted. This is completely not scripted. So, I may have to... <laughs> so, um, keep that in mind. Uh, um, I...
think the cutscenes were quite good as well. But I think this this is a little biased because I'm Scottish. But I want a Scottish character in Zelda. Has there ever been a Scottish character in Zelda? I don't know. <laughs> this is this is just my personal opinion. I think that, there sh uh, that in each Zelda game there should be like people from everywhere, and I mean everywhere, without using stereotypes. Because uh, then it's we can we can all feel like we're part of the game. Uh, also, I think you should be able to customize Link more if they're going for the kind of if if I if in not Breath of the Wild two but in the net in the game after that, uh, I think they should go for a lot more customization, like skin color, hair color, clothes, more of that. Uh, if they're if they're if they're not gonna go with the Link, if they're gonna go with Link as you like you are Link, uh, then they should give you more customization op options. Personally. Um, and I think the story was quite good in Breath of the Wild as well. Uh, quite, quite good. Because the, um, oh, I've forgotten their name. Oh, the people, the Guardian people or whatever they're called. Guardians, I sang the Halo. <laughs> um, but the people with the big robotic, robotic ancient animals, yeah, uh, those people, yeah, amazing characters. Uh, I, uh, I've i forgotten the Zora, the Zora princess. I think I can't remember what she's called. I can't remember any of the names. Um, it, it's been a while since I've played it. Or not a while, I played it a few days ago, but I haven't played it fully uh, since last year. Um, <coughs> uh, no, but those, but, um, me, oh, I can't remember what she's called. Um, it was something far. Mifa? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, Mifa's Grace, Mifa. Uh, yeah, Mifa is an amazing character. She's like. Per oh, perfect. <laughs> perfect character. Um, so is the. Um, the big boulder guy. I keep forgetting the names. <laughs> big boulder guy. You know which one I'm talking about. The volcano. De Death Mountain guy, guy who has um, his divine divine beasts. That's what they're called. Ah, <laughs> um, divine beasts. Yeah, the guy who has the kind of lizard divine beast or whatever it's supposed to be. Yeah, he's quite cool as well. Um, also lightning woman. <laughs> no, no, I can't go. Uh, no. Oh, I need to look this up. <laughs> right. Um, so I'll see you back in the next part of the review. So, uh, I'm back from googling stuff up. Cannot find their names at all. And I do not know why. Um, but with... Um, so, uh, you know the the champion who um use the who flicks her fingers and then the lightning comes out. Yeah. Also an amazing character. She's amazing. Um amazing, amazing, amazing character. I love the swords as well. <laughs> and I've not played Hyrule Warriors yet, but I'm pretty sure you can play as her and it looks so cool. Just taking down hordes and hordes of the, uh, 
I can't remember what they're called again. Today my entire brain is went blank. But uh, you know how I'm talking about the tribe that split off from the Sheikah. Uh, uh, and just kill everyone. <laughs> and like bananas. Um, no. Fighting hordes of them. Amazing. Uh, but I don't, I do not know how they managed to fit such a big world into the Switch. Like, it's so immense, it's so massive, and it, and the game looks so good as well. Like, it, it, they just managed to make such a good game in, in a handheld console. It looks like a It looks so good. Um, so, I would rate the graphics, I would say 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10, yeah. I would rate the Koroks, 3 out of 10. Sometimes it's like, yay! It's like, um, Ar Arlo, the Nintendo YouTuber, said in his Breath of the Wild review, because it gives you kind of a childish, like, delight, but... I think it's just a chore to me. Like, it's almost like the side quests. I don't like side quests. I only like the main campaign. But this is, this is, this is driving, this is like an opinion review, not an objective review. This is just my opinion. You do not have to, I do not have to have your opinion. You do not have to have my opinion. This is just my personal opinion. And if I get anything wrong, then, wrong, then please correct me in the comments. <laughs> so, I'll make a second part to this review to that will be scripted, because this isn't scripted, as I said earlier on. Uh, I'll make a second part. This is this has been Unknown Animations, the place where you play games and have fun. And goodbye. <laughs>